Let's talk about another bank, Barclays. We're getting a drip, drip, drip of news at the moment, Shri, about how what is an underperforming bank intends to turn itself around. We, we've, we've heard about job cuts, back office job cuts over the last few days. Now there's talk about the fact that they could be cutting clients in order to basically free up risk-weighted assets that they can deploy elsewhere. Are we starting to get a, a better picture of what the overall strategy, you talk about strategy, might look like at Barclays now? We don't necessarily have a better picture of the overall strategy, but we certainly have a better picture of the challenges that they are confronting. C.S. Venkat is just over two years into his tenure as Barclays CEO after Jess Staley was ousted. But the problem really is not about management, but about the overall business. The stock today is below where it was five years ago, has been on a downward spiral for the last 10 years. Returns are poor. Return on equity isn't great. Price to book ratio is well below one. So clearly some steps need to be taken. We've talked about cost discipline. We've talked about the need to take out big chunks of cost from the system, from the overall group. And that, unfortunately, will mean a lot of job cuts. They will have to embark on other changes, move away some of the risk-weighted assets from their investment banks so that they can lift returns there. That will present them with a number of different options. Where do they move those assets? Does the retail bank take it? It already has a dominant presence in the UK. Do they yeah. embark on buybacks, dividends? They, they'll have to sort through these challenges, but it's clear when you look at their numbers, when you look at their return profile, it's not good enough.